the low return, low growth world is something that is going to be with us for a long time. The driver of this environment is deflationary pressures from overseas and that is not going away. These are structural issues uh, such as demographics, the fact that emerging market production capacity grew and high debt load. All of these things are going to be with us for years. In the current environment, the dollar will end up being the equalizer. Uh, the current expectation is that the U.S. economy does much better than the rest of the world, which is potentially true. However, the strength of the dollar will eventually weaken the U.S. economy through the export sector for sure, but it will have a negative impact on the domestic economy as well in consumption and investment. So overall, a strength of the dollar uh, is going to be a big headwind for the U.S. economy for the foreseeable future. The risks in emerging market, again, today are higher than what they have been in the past, primarily because they have taken on a lot of debt and their economies are decelerating. Uh, however, I think 2016 is still going to be a decent year of uh, growth and performance for emerging markets. Whether that translates into higher uh, equity prices or higher bond prices is a separate question altogether. I think the volatility that we saw created by China in 2015 wasn't because of their slowing trend. It was primarily because of their ham-handed intervention in their equity market. Uh, didn't accomplish anything, just blew up their credibility. And the fact that they devalued modestly. When capital is looking to leave a country, devaluing modestly doesn't accomplish anything. All it does is scares the scared capital even more. I think if they would have devalued a lot, then there will be some capital looking to get back in. So if you put two and two together, I think the outflow pressures will be with China for the foreseeable future until the valuation of the currency changes dramatically. Given the volatility that they created in their own economy and in the global economy, I think they will refrain from doing that in 2016. And therefore, we will be in a uh, trickle outflow out of China uh, for the foreseeable future. For 2016, low growth, low return, and high volatility is what we have to look forward to. As an investor, you can take two approaches. One is to be uh, long term, take a three to five year view and live through the volatility. I think since the basic case of uh, policy support and growth hasn't changed that much and interest rates remain low, in that environment over the three to five year period you'll get decent returns and volatility you'll be living through and uh, outlast. However, I think there's a different approach that you can take this year as well, which is to be a far more tactical. Tactical requires you to wait for opportunities to develop in the marketplace, not have a full-on risk position. As uh, uh, the opportunities develop, like the, they did in August of 2015, and markets correct significantly, uh, you can add to your risk position and let the markets come back, cash it in, and then reposition your portfolio for a moderate amount of risk again.